Assalamualaikum guys, kembali lagi bersama aku Ahmed Stefan yang biasanya teman-teman lihat di program World of Muslim di bagian Turki. Nah hari ini aku dikasih kesempatan perdana buat ngisi program Sound of Muslim. Dan hari ini kita kedatangan tamu spesial dari Macedonia ya guys ya. Beliau dijuluki the King of Solawat Singer. Beliau adalah Mesut Kurtis. Let's go. Sekarang tebak, aku lagi ada di mana? Ada yang tahu gak? Aku lagi ada di Jakarta nih guys Di studio MNC Channel Kita bakalan undang langsung Stargaze kita Mesut Kurtis dari Sedonia Yuk kita lanjut ke studionya We have some special food for you. Okay, okay, okay. This looks like uh, strawberry or what? No, no, no. It's the sweet one. Okay, guys. Jadi sekarang kita lagi siap-siap buat ke studionya ya. Kita join dulu ya di dia. Okay, guys. Selamat datang. Terima kasih, Bang. Terima kasih, Bang. Terima kasih, Bang. Assalamualaikum, teman-teman semua. Bersama aku, Ahmed Stefan, yang biasanya teman-teman lihat di program World of Muslim. Nah, kali ini adalah debutku sebagai host di program Sound of Muslim. Hari ini, aku dapat privilege buat langsung ketemu dan mewawancarai salah satu artis yang internasional yang sangat terkenal. Beliau ini keturunan Turki Albania, berasal dari Makedonia dan dapat julukan The King of Salawat Singer. Please welcome Mesut Kurtis, brother. Okay, uh, before we started, uh, how should I call you, um, Mesut brother? Or I saw in internet. If we call brother in Turkish, we can say Abi, right? Abi is like a older brother. Older brother. Yeah, how you feel better, for me it's not problem. Okay, know? I guess I can call you uh, Mesut, Mesut Abi. Mesut Abi, yeah, okay. maybe. You can, you can do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oke okay, teman-teman, jadi di Turki kalau misalnya kita pengen bilang yang lebih tua, di, di Indonesia kan bilangnya abang ya atau kakak gitu. Nah kalau misalnya di Turki itu Abi. Jadi kali ini aku bakalan Uh, manggil beliau ini dengan Mesut Abi. Okay, Mesut Abi, how do you feel uh, right now? How are you? Well, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. I'm very good, uh, feeling very good. Although I'm traveling from uh, far uh, away, uh, I was thinking that I will have like hard jet lag, but I'm feeling very good right now. Yeah. And I'm so happy and excited. First of all, I want to thank you for inviting me. This is my first TV interview in Indonesia, and this is my first visit in Indonesia. So I feel very, very good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We also. Uh, so also very excited. So how do you feel about Jakarta when you arrived and then you get out from uh, the plane? Well, I What do you feel? Very, very cool because I know people of Indonesia, and especially of this re region, uh, and I received a lot of messages from my fans. They they were saying. You are going to the land, to, to the place where good people are, with good akhlaq, with good uh, uh, characters, you know, uh, and I, I can see that, the reaction of people, 
and especially they are happy and smiley, you know, because today it's very hard to find, especially in in West, in in the places where we live, people are uh, very unsatisfied with satisfied with with, with, the, with their lives, uh, no happy with anything they are owning, uh, no thanking God enoughly. Yeah. Uh, but uh, here you find people are like at least you know they are very positive. I know that everyone has problems in their private lives, but they don't show to others, <laughs> and they they just smile. They give their positive energy. So I can get that, you know. So, mashallah. <laughs> so uh, we are wondering how you started as a musician because uh, if I know, as I know that you are graduated from majority of human science. Is that true? I mean, there is no relation to music. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, actually, uh, I started like singing from my very young age. And uh, when I was like uh, maybe six, seven years old, and then on my primary school, the secondary high school, I was a part of uh, many uh, uh, groups and a solo singer, oh. but not known as Masood Curtis. Okay. Uh, but known as as a solist of the group of Skopje, a group of of Madrasa Isabe Isabe, where I uh, finished, I studied there. But uh, after that, I just continued my study on religious studies. That was in UK, uh, human sciences. But under that, we studied uh, Islamic law, uh, and I, there is where I learned Arabic, uh, and I learned also English. So these two languages are my fourth and the fifth language. Mashallah. So I'm doing this uh, since 2004. Mashallah. Uh, 2004 is the one, uh, the, the year where I when I released my first album, Salawat, and since then I continued and doing this and uh, still I'm doing, you know. Wow. So hundreds. it has been 19 years, right? 19 or years, yes, yes. More or less 19 years. So I released many albums, many singles. Wow. I attended to many musicals. Uh, did uh, many uh, duets with many international artists. So the career is like full with many activities. And uh, I visited uh, more than maybe 55 countries. Uh, I can say uh, I performed in more than 200 cities, maybe I can say. I read also in the internet that your father loves to read Quran and uh, hear Nashid music, Islamic music. Is it true? Actually, my father, he just retired. He was imam uh, in uh, a very traditional mosque in our capital, oh. uh, Skopje. And my grandfather, uh, Allah yarhamu, uh, may Allah have mercy on him. Uh, he was also imam. He passed away when I was just eight years old. So uh, my father, he has very good voice. My grandfather, the same thing. Uh, they were imam, but in the same time, they were very connected to the uh, poems, melodies you know and uh, my father is also a good reciter of of quran and of sure. uh, of anashid and maulid we say you know we have like spe special uh, recitation of uh, uh, the birth for the birth of prophet so he is uh, one of the good reciters of that so i learned a lot of from them you know i born uh -huh. and raised in that kind of uh, ambience you know okay and uh, this is my beginning you know so so when you are prepared from very young age with the singing and listening the right uh, singings, you know, and just imagine you sing, you do something and someone is just next to you and corrects you when you are very young. So you, you get that benefits, you know, Of right? course. You said uh, that it has been 19 years in this music industry. How yeah. can you, uh, can you give us some tips to be maintained in a uh, music industry? Like how can, how can you survive uh, with this long time, what is your motivation? What I remember uh, since I met uh, the brothers of my uh, uh, record label, Awakening Record yes. Music, Awakening Music. Uh, since I met them, we were talking about uh, uh, about the future, what we are aiming from this work. Mm. Because I never thought uh, of making a, a, a, an album just just to make it. Uh, always was was thinking for long term and uh, never thought uh, for a short term because for some people it's like the, their main goal is just to make an album but alhamdulillah we when we met we, we saw that we have a, a same aim you know same goal 
Alhamdulillah, we had uh, continuity. And uh, of course, uh, all what we do is trying to do with our uh, good intention, you know, good niyyah. And uh, Allah is the one who, who opens the door, you know. So this is how we face all these course, realities yeah, yeah. and these successes, Alhamdulillah. So which one? Uh, you have so much music, right, that you uh, sing. Which one is the most favorite for you? Wallahi, you know, everyone has different tastes. You know, different right? tastes, different tastes. And yeah. uh, of course, people, they love Burda from the beginning. And uh, Qasidatul Burda is also one of my favorite songs, you know. Uh, as a melody, is like very simple, maybe. But the lyrics are so powerful. And just when you think that how many generations they repeated the same words, and you are coming in 21st century, and you do the same, and you make like people know about it, you know, because the yeah. young generation they didn't know. I had the fans, they were writing, you know, uh, Masood, <coughs> very, very nice song. Uh, how you wrote this lyric? I said, listen, this is, not, this is not my lyrics. The melody is like, like very old, you know. The lyrics are written like 70, 700 years ago, 800 years ago by Imam Busayri, uh, Allah Yerhamu. So, Tabassam is also became very popular. This is like new, brand new song written by, uh, written by uh, Aziz Shafi'i, uh, the Egyptian composer, mashallah. Uh, the, the song, I made it and and uh, I saw that Alhamdulillah, many people they loved uh, is Ruhi Fidak. Yeah. And uh, I know that the Indonesians, all these regions, they love this song a lot. We love so this song. They made this very, very happy because this is, this is a song I wrote and uh, lyrics is written by, uh, by a well-known uh, poet who uh, passed away just after we released the song. After six months, he had the cancer. Mm -hmm. Allah, Allah have mercy, Salah Galal. So, uh, you know, it's very emotional song. For myself uh, even one of my uh, my songs also uh, I, i'm happy because it became uh, well known in also also in in this region is the the, the song called it hasbunallah i see uh, lots of indonesian fans they did the cover of it you know yes. so this made me also very happy you know except those those nasheeds those, those traditional songs we have also these new ones when i saw that it's bec they are becoming like popular uh, this also made, made me very happy. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. We really love your song. We made a lot of cover on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we will, we will watch it later. Inshallah. Thank you for your answers. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, teman-teman semua. Uh, Mashallah ya, kita ada, tadi barusan mendengarkan penjelasan dari Babang Mesut yang membuat kita jadi semangat gitu buat terus uh, berusaha, belajar, dan gak berhenti untuk selalu berusaha yang keras gitu ya karena katanya berusan kan kita nggak tahu gitu kapan kita sukses beliau ini berusaha terus 19 tahun loh guys di musik industri dan beliau juga nggak pernah ngira gitu kalau misalnya beliau bisa ada di posisi ini sekarang nah teman-teman semua jangan kemana-mana karena setelah ini masih ada part yang seru yang harus teman-teman tonton ya kita break dulu setelah yang berikut ini
وبهاء لامس القلب أحمد يا نور المدى بشوق فاق المدى عيني ترجو أن تراك روحي يا حبيبي الفداء أحمد يا نور المدى بشوق فاق المدى عيني ترجو أن تراك Oke okay guys, sekarang kita lanjut segmen 2-nya. Masih bersama aku, Ahmad Stefan, dan tamu kita, guest star-nya, Babang Mesut Kurtis. How we can say welcome in Turkish? Hoş geldiniz. Hoş, hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. Oke. Oke. Oke, hoş geldiniz to our program. Bizim programımıza hoş geldiniz. Programımıza hoş geldiniz. <laughs> I heard that you are you are married with a Turkish. Yeah. Let me try in Turkish. Why? Let me try in Turkish. Okay, yalla. Evet arkadaşlar, bizim programımıza hoş geldiniz. Bugün uzaktan gelen Makedonya'dan Mesut abimiz var. Allah, what's this? What's this? Abi aslında ben Türkçe konuşabiliyorum. Hadi ya, ya Allah. Ya, you were acting good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that he doesn't know, but mashallah, he speaks good. Yeah. I was very surprised, you know, how you can get married with a Turkish yeah. uh, wife and girl, and he, she will not teach you. It's it's impossible. No, actually, we can <laughs> speak Turkish fluently. Ah, really, mashallah. Hoş geldiniz, and he always tries to make a mistake on hoş geldiniz by saying hoş geldiniz. Actually, it's a little bit hard for our language for yeah. our tongue because Masha. Turkish it's a different language from us yeah yeah exactly uh, yeah. exactly actually I'm a student and also I work in Turkey for really? five years so really? I can speak mashallah yeah. o zaman beni niye yordun kardeşim yani dendim <laughs> beni özür dilerim abi tamam eyvallah özür dilerim Aff affettim yani <laughs> özrün kabul edildi okay you already said that you know English Arabic Albanian, Macedonian, Macedonian. mashallah. Do you want to learn about Indonesian a little bit? Yeah, of course. I'm I'm always uh, 
uh, very excited to learn a new languages. Oh. But you know, I know that when you want to learn, you have to focus. Of and course. that's why I stopped with the five, because I need to focus in the, to span the new language. Yeah. But you know, Indonesian language is really, really easy to talk. My wife, mm. for example, she can speak in one year. Mashallah. In one Mashallah. year, because we don't have any grammar like Turkish. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, once, uh, three years ago, I have Moroccan friend. Uh -huh. uh, he stay uh, in one room with me, mm -hmm. with, uh, with our other friends. He can speak in three months. Only wow. talking, talking. Wow, so, wow, wow. inshallah, it's gonna be easy if you wanna. Yeah, if I stay three months. <laughs> so this this might be my uh, yeah my my goal. <laughs> Actually, this is good for you because you can start to sing in Indonesia. You can write like a uh, song in Indonesian language, inshallah, if you. Actually, yeah, singing is not uh, hard. You know, we need just to copy. But when we say talking, talking is a little bit uh, different. It needs to take time. You know. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, let's start with few words. Yeah, let me let me show you the words. Uh, we can say. Nasılsın? Nasılsın? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Ne haber? In Turkish we say ne haber? Apa kabar? Yani. Apa kabar? Haberler nasıl? Haberler nasıl? Eyvallah. Nasılsınız? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Saya cinta Indonesia. Are these good words? I don't know. <laughs> this is good words, of course. <laughs> Saya. Saya cinta Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh. Saya cinta. It means Indonesia is Ah, Indonesia. Indonesia, Indonesia is hey. hey, And I will give you some tips. In case you're hungry in Indonesia, okay. uh, in English, uh, in Turkish, we say Ben Ajikyu, Ajiktum. Ajiktum. Yes. Ajiktum in Turkish. Hey, well, uh, in hungry. English, I'm hungry. Yeah. So you can say, Saya lapar. Saya lapar. Saya lapar. <laughs> lapar, lapar. <laughs> in case you need food in Indonesia, you can just yeah. say to Saya lapar. Indonesian people. So Saya you will lapar. never. Uh, you will be never hungry. Hungry, yeah. Inshallah, yeah. because we have a lot of food here. Mashallah, <laughs> mashallah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay. We saw already that your song in YouTube, Salawat uh, Burda, Burda, Burda Maula, had mm. reached 32 million viewers. Is there any message in this song? Of course, the, this song uh, is written by Imam Busayr. Uh, he's known as a, as a poet. Uh, he lived like uh, 800 years ago and uh, became very popular in many Muslim countries. So every, in every each Muslim country, uh, they take uh, this poem and they recite uh, instead of zikr, you know, oh. and uh, some of uh, them, they believe that there is shifa also, you know, shifa, yeah. shifa you know, the, the, uh, the heal, healer, healer, healer, healer. Yes. Uh, because there is a story behind it uh, about that. And plus, the melody I sang is like taken from Indian folklore. It's like very long time ago. It's unknown, the, uh, the writer of the, of the music. And uh, when I born and raised in, in Macedonia, we were singing in a different melody. So then I went to Cairo, I heard like people, Another is, they sing the same lyrics with a different melody. Oh, in Turkey, different. Yeah. So the, the melody I, I'm singing and with the, with the song I became a popular is the, is the one taken from Indian folklore, you know. And uh, because I was uh, studying on that time in, in the UK, so most of our friends, they were like from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and they were just reciting this all the time. And actually, after I finished all my recordings with my songs, and uh, the suggestion was from our brothers, he said, Masood, you know, what, what do you think, you know, just to add this song too? I said, listen, many people, they are singing this song already, so what will add? And you, you know, what yeah. they said, no, just if you sing it, they, they, they believed on, on my, my voice and they insisted, you know. And subhanAllah, you know, once we record it, and I remember the recording was on the same night because I was traveling to, to, to the Wales. I was studying in, in Lampeter. So I was traveling there every weekend. I used to go to Manchester and record. So I remember I just took the lyrics and we choose like four verses and uh, I just recorded in once uh, in, in one night 
Wow. And this is that recording. And then after we release, everyone like it. And this is how we choose then to make a music video for it. Yeah. So it's a, like very nice moments. And uh, just to see how these songs grow so, so nicely. And just to hear that after 19 years, people still love uh, the song. And we just decided last year to remake the song. Because every time I go, I have a lot of songs to sing. Everyone is asking, you know, Masood, please, Burda, Burda, Mawla, Sali. We want to hear from you. And we just decided to remake and we did rearrangement and we did a new music video for it. Oh. So also this is another story, long story, you know. Long story, yeah. So Alhamdulillah, Burda is, uh, there is a lot of things to, to say about it. Can you sing the most favorite part of this song? Yes, of course, of course. Just a little bit. We want to hear you <coughs> okay. immediately, face to face. Muhammadun Sayyidul Kawnayn wa Muhammadun Sayyidul Kawnayn wa Thaqalayn wal Fariqayn min Arub wa min Ajam Mawlaya salli wa sallim daiman abadan ala habibika khayril khalqi kullihim. MashaAllah. <laughs> Thank you. Subhanallah. This, is, this is really uh, different between we hear it from YouTube then yeah, immediately <laughs> hear it from you. <laughs> Oke okay guys, ini beda banget ya rasanya ya. Adem banget dengerin langsung dari Babang Mesut yang kita lihat di Youtube selama ini. Oke okay guys, setelah ini kita masih ada segmen berikutnya. Jadi jangan kemana-mana, kita akan balik lagi setelah ini.
Assalamualaikum guys, kembali lagi bersama kita Aku Ahmed Stefan dan star guest kita Babang Mesut Kurtis di program Sound of Muslim Nah di segmen kali ini kita bakalan nonton kompilasi cover-cover music dari Babang Mesut ini yang di cover sama orang Indonesia Aku sebenarnya penasaran sih gimana reaksi dia langsung melihat video cover orang Indonesia gitu kan pasti ada yang beda gitu pelafalannya mungkin atau liriknya beda atau gimana nanti kita lihat ya guys Do you know that Indonesian people really love your music especially in Tabasum? Yeah, yeah, I heard and uh, when I check YouTube I see many yeah, covers. Many are. covers. So uh, let's go to see the covers. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do it in Turkish cover uh, in Turkish okay. language. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's see and uh, watch what's there. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik banget katanya. Ini sangat menarik Kenapa jadi rock gitu? Tapi keren katanya. Katanya mirip dansa halai di Turki. Kalau dansa halai itu kayak gini-gini. Boleh lagi gitu lah. Geçen herhalde ben sadece açmıştık, ee, tamam mı? Bayan, daha neredeyse bunu okuyan. Evet, evet. İsmi neydi? İsmi Sabyan. Sabyan. Namanya. Sabyan'ı Sabyan ben YouTube'dan biliyorum. Ah, katanya Sabyan. tahu Sabyan dari YouTube. Ah, Bu farklı. Biraz... Biraz slow olmuş. Slow, evet. evet. Kenanya lebih santai gitu kalau ini. Şimdi bu biraz... Hüzünlü olmuş. Ah. Halbuki biz tebessümden bahsediyoruz. <gülüyor> Katanya ini lebih sedih kedengerannya. Padahal kan lagunya lagu senyum gitu. Bu da biraz uzun. <gülüyor> Tabii herkesin kendine göre mizacına uygun okumaya evet. çalışmış. Katanya ini mungkin tergantung dari orang yang nyanyiin gimana gitu. Kalau pengen yang sedih, yang sedih. Iya. Pengen yang seneng, yang seneng gitu. Bu biraz sessiz. Şimdi Arapçayı bilmedikleri için yani kelimelerde telafuda da Hatalı olabiliyor. Hatalı olabiliyor. Hatalı. Böyle duyduğu gibi okuyor, halbuki yanlış duymuş. Katanya mungkin karena yang nyanyiin kurang bisa bahasa Arab, jadi pelafalannya ada yang salah gitu dari nyanyinya. Arap sudah biliyorsun. Ki dedin mi bu en nes oluyor, halbuki orang muazzekler de okuyoruz. Vurgular da biraz şey var. Ha bu mevlut kutlamasında, mevlut kandilinde söylüyorlar sizin şarkınızı. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Tidak ada. Bence en iyi okuyanlardan biri bu. Ah, katanya yang paling terbaik kayaknya Sabian. Evet, Sabian. Merhaba. Diğeri kim? 
Diğeri arkadaş. O başta dokunmaya galiba. Bu grup müzik ya. O yüzden grup müzik. Evet eyvallah. Tebessem ne hale geldi ya. Katanya ini lagunya berubah banget gitu. Vay canım. Vay vay vay vay. Wow. Wow. Masyallah masyallah. I think it's really different from your version, right? Of course, they have different presentations uh, as I told you some of it uh, were like we say in our traditional Turkish yeah halay music, dance. Halay, like <laughs> music for dancing so it was nice uh, nice presentations and some of them I, I heard that they, they because they don't know the lyrics and the meaning of the lyrics in Arabic because it's, it's in Arabic yes but they tried their best on pronunciation I find like uh, they say different words I think <laughs> but in general I just want to thank everyone uh, for making cover this song, for liking, so this makes us also happy of to course. see the success of this song. Yeah, Shall we? you know, once I hear your Tabasum song, it stays in my brain. Like every day, I say Tabasum, <laughs> Tabasum. <laughs> yeah, Can you sing a little bit of the of this music of this song? <laughs> دنا بتبسم وتبسم دنا بتبسم اللهم صلي Assalamualaikum guys, kembali lagi bersama kami di program Sound of Muslim. Nah, jadi seperti yang kita tahu ya, Babang Mesut Kurtis ini datang ke Indonesia pertama kali untuk melakukan konser pertama kali juga ya di namanya Festival Mahabbah 2023. Nah, kita kepoin yuk guys tentang gimana persiapan beliau ini uh, untuk menghadapi konsernya. Apakah ada lagu-lagu spesial? Uh, Mesut Habib, season hazar lekbalan sasel. Konser için ve heyecanlı mısınız? Konuşmalarımızı Türkçe mi devam edeceğiz yoksa İngilizce uh, okay. mi? Okay. So, how is your preparation for this concert? Are you excited to be the first time concert in Indonesia? Uh, of course, uh, we. I'm very excited because uh, for a long time we were waiting for this moment to come. Uh, many fans are following our music, but I never visited and I ever never performed in Indonesia. So, inshallah, I'm here. Uh, the preparation we are starting from uh, today uh, physically, but we did our first, uh, let's say, rehearsal with my uh, Indonesian band and musicians for the first time. We did online while I was in my hometown and uh, they were doing good. So inshallah today I'm having my uh, second uh, rehearsal. We will do preparation until the, the show started, will start. Uh, so. On 2nd of uh, September, uh, inshallah, I will be with my uh, uh, beloved uh, fans and uh, listeners. Uh, like physically, we'll sing in front of them. I'm very, very excited. So uh, in the same time, I try to pick the, the, the most known songs so they can also join me okay. uh, while I perform. So inshallah, I hope everything goes uh, well. 
Thank you. Is there any special song that you will sing in the concert? Uh, of course, for myself, all songs are like special. And uh, I, I picked, as I, as I said, the songs where most of them they like because I, as, as a listener, when I go to any, any artist who I love, I, I want to listen to the songs I love, right? Because sometimes artists, they can sing very, very different songs, but they, they are still, they want to connect with the artist, with the songs they know mostly. Uh -huh. uh, there are lots of special songs. I choose uh, nearly 12 of them, yeah. 12 of uh, the so so songs I have. I hope Tabassum is in yeah. your list. Of course, Tabassum, <laughs> Yani, after I, we, we saw all these covers they did, uh, of course, we will sing together with them. And we will sing also Burda, <laughs> inshallah, <laughs> the new version of it with the new arrangement, inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, many others. I have something, message to Indonesian people, especially to our fans here. Wallahi, uh, I just want to thank all of them who support my music and, uh, and just will, will ask from them to, uh, to pray for me, for my family, for my friends who stand behind uh, my work, uh, because this work is not easy to make it, uh, to pray for us so we can have continuity in our our next uh, projects, next albums, you know, and uh, I also pray for all, all of them, you know, and uh, so happy again to be here in Indonesia uh, with them. Can you give us a little bit spoiler? Will you release album in this close time? Will you release a new song? Of course, uh, I'm planning to, to, to release a new like a kind of singles. Uh, so working on it and uh, just we need to make a right cho choice, mm -hmm. you know, because when you have an alternative, so you need to, to do it rightly uh, and to, to be satisfied with the one we, we, we do. And uh, soon we are going to also announce this in through our uh, social media pages. Mashallah, we are really excited to uh, wait your new song. Hey, Allah, inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> I hope it can be viral again. Inshallah, like your song before. Inshallah. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, thank you for having you here. Thank you for your time to come to our uh, studio. Hey, Allah, it was a pleasure for me also to be with you, to spend my time with you, with our uh, uh, Indonesian uh, yeah. people who are watching us. Of course, really hope that you can make another beautiful song because we really love your sound. <laughs> hey, Allah, thank you. Jazakallah khair, inshallah. inshallah. And I hope you can come to Indonesia again, maybe uh, in, very soon, in very soon future. Business. Yeah, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, I hope so. Nah, guys, buat teman-teman semua yang belum sempat nonton konsernya Babang Mesut Kurtis, yuk lihat keseruannya di cuplikan ini. I did uh, because I traveled in many countries. I performed uh, since when I was a child, maybe more than 20, 25 years. And, uh, but uh, every time we have some kind of, uh, like we are like excited. So this motivates us to do, to do our best, you know, when we are on stage and uh, for sure, <laughs> Uh, we are most happy when we have the crowd, the audience, uh, where they know us, they know the songs, and especially when they sing with us while we are on stage. So this is the time when we create that atmosphere. So I believe uh, that Indonesia event concert for myself will be a special for them. Because we know, I know that there are lots of like uh, brothers and sisters who know the songs. So that's why I try to pick the best songs uh, who they might know. Saying salawat, saying good words, nice words to the, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And just to be a reason for that, to, to make people, thousands, millions of people, you know, sing the same words, same kind words, nice words. 
So, so this is something else, you know, you, which you cannot buy. Uh, beliau ini penyanyi solawat dan kita pecinta solawat. Pecinta solawat. Sudah jelas. Kita dari majelis taklim, nah kita pecinta solawat dan yang paling tepat memang Masuk Kurtis. Uh, hasilnya juga kita berharap di event ini itu para muhibin, ya para pencinta habai, para pecinta Rasulullah SAW itu kumpul di sini. Ya, ini acara satu-satunya acara yang uh, menurut saya paling variatif dan uh, dibuat untuk khusus para muhibin secara khusus tapi secara umum siapapun bisa gitu. Tapi kita mengajak para muhibin untuk menguatkan ukhuwah uh, di acara Mahabah Festival ini. Gitu. Uh, jadi DNA itu sudah menjadi partner sejak tahun 2011 uh, 2010 pertama kali dengan Mahir Zain. Jadi kami yang menemukan Mahir Zain waktu itu di Malaysia, kami ketemu sama Mahir Zain, terus kami ketemu sama uh, apa namanya uh, manajemennya dan kita cocok sampai sekarang. Kita udah kayak keluarga. Uh, jadi kemudian satu-satu masuk penyanyinya dari Mahir Zain, Raif, Haris sampai akhirnya Mesut. Mesut ini memang agak telat gitu ya. Mungkin pada saat kita memasukkan tiba-tiba pandemi. Cuman e, memang saya sudah ber, berpikir bahwa Mesut punya fans tersendiri Khususnya adalah di komunitas-komunitas Islam, di pesantren, di mana-mana Karena lagunya Mesut sangat terkenal ya Oleh karena itu e, kemarin begitu ada undangan dari Mahabapes Saya langsung bilang ini Mesut Saya sih e, melihatnya ini adalah event yang bagus ya Terutama adalah e, dalam rangka mendekatkan diri kita ke Allah dan mencintai Rasul Karena Uh, kita tidak bisa mencintai kalau kita nggak mengenal dia ya mengenalnya melalui tausiah tentunya melalui lagu-lagu jadi saya senang sekali uh, event super event seperti ini gitu.
कलमा पढ़ते हैं चिड़िया कलमा पढ़ती है दुनिया की मखलूक सभी जिक्र खुदा का करती है गुलशन कलमा पढ़ते हैं चिड़िया कलमा पढ़ती है दुनिया की मखलूक सभी जिक्र खुदा का करती है تشفي أفئدة وصدور أعظم كلمات وأجور لا إله إلا الله أصدق ما نطق الإنسان وبها سبحت الأكوان هي أثقل ما في الميزان لا إله إلا الله ما أجملها من كلمات ننطقها فتطيب حياة هي مفتاح للجنة لا إله إلا الله Gerçek aşkla merhametinle kalbimizi yalnız sen doldur Allah Sonsuz ikram hissetini bahşeden Rabbim kullarına Kutlu yolundan ayırma bizi rahmetinle al yanına Cahilim ömrüm bir mevsim nur ile sar alim sensin Nefsime galip kıl nefesim لا إله إلا الله